Ed Sheeran, a British ginger heartthrob who's taken the music industry by storm with simple romantic love songs played on an acoustic guitar. Did you know that he's written music for One Direction? Have you ever wondered why all of his albums seem to have a math or numbers related title? If you answered no to the first question and yes to the second one, then this is the video for you. But before we start breaking down who Ed Sheeran is as a person and artist, I want to give anyone who's new to my channel a warm welcome. Here at From Laura's Perspective, I post a new video essay on a different topic at least once a week. If you want to watch informative, intriguing videos on everything from music to movies, TV, literature, history, business, food, drink, and lifestyle, my channel's the one for you. So smash that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so your phone goes off every time I have something to say in a new video. Let's start by talking about how Sheeran came to be a musician in the first place. Edward Christopher Sheeran was born in West Yorkshire, England and raised in Suffolk. His mother Imogen worked at Manchester City Art Gallery and his father John curated at Cartwright Hall. Edward sang at a local church choir at the age of four, learned how to play guitar at the age of 11, and began writing songs while at Thomas Mills High School in Framlingham. When Sheeran was in school, his classmates described him as a natural performer and voted him most likely to be famous, a prediction which has since come true. Sheeran started recording music independently in 2004 when he was only 13 years old. It was at this time that Sheeran independently released his first collection of work, Spinning Man. Two years later, Sheeran befriended fellow British singer Passenger, who are famous for their 2013 hit, Let It Go, while performing at the same show in Cambridge. Four years later, Sheeran posted a video through SBTV, a channel launched by British entrepreneur Jamal Edwards, and rapper Example invited Sheeran to tour with him. In the same month, he also released his critically acclaimed Loose Change EP, which featured his debut single, The A-Team. Sheeran also self-released two other EPs in 2010, Ed Sheeran, Live at the Bedford, and Songs I Wrote with Amy, which is a collection of love songs he wrote in Wales with Amy Wage. On January 8, 2011, Sheeran re released another independent EP, Number 5 Collaborations Project, featuring grime artists such as Wiley, J Devlin, Sway, and Getz. With this EP, Sharon gained mainstream attention for having reached number two in the iTunes chart without any promotion or label, selling over 7,000 copies in the first week. By April 2011, The A-Team was released as the lead single for Sheeran's very first studio album, whose title is stylized as a plus sign, but simply pronounced plus. Sheeran's debut studio album, Plus, produced by Asylum Records and Atlantic Records, is considered to be his commercial breakthrough. Throughout this album, Sheeran plays a small acoustic guitar without a band or beats. According to the Daily Telegraph, Sheeran sings in a quote-unquote soft-toned, flexible voice with a hip-hop themes about subjects Sheeran cared about in his own life on Plus. The record features chipper beats with staccato guitar riffs throughout. Throughout the tracks on Plus, there's a shift back and forth between light and dark themes, as well as between genres and stylings. These include hip hop, R&B, and folk hop. Lyrical themes include addiction, failed relationships, self-doubt, and homelessness, among others. Plus was certified triple platinum by the RIAA, peaked at number five on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, and reached the top of the UK Albums chart. 
Plus's lead single, The A-Team, can still be considered Sheeran's breakthrough single to date. This folk ballad tells the story of a prostitute who is addicted to cocaine, a Class A drug. Sheeran was inspired to write this song after hearing some of the stories of the residents he'd visited at a homeless shelter. The single was certified quadruple platinum in its native UK and seven times platinum in the US. The A team peaked at number three on the UK singles chart and at number 16 on the Billboard Hot 100. The next single released off of Plus was You Need Me, I Don't Need You. The song is written in the key of E minor and Sheeran's vocals range from the note of D3 to G4. Instrumentation is provided by guitar, piano, and a drum loop. As its title implies, You Need Me, I Don't Need You is an angry breakup song. It was one of Sheeran's less commercially successful singles, receiving the low certification of gold from the RIAA, peaking at number four on the UK singles charts, and not making it onto any US charts. The next single released off of Plus was the much more well-known Lego House. The song is about how Sheeran feels the love of a marriage will conquer any and all of the hardships the couple will inevitably endure. Instruments in Lego House include the guitar and piano. Lego House is a bass song written in the key of E major, with Sheeran's vocals ranging from B2 to G sharp 4. Lego House peaked at number 5 on the UK singles chart, at number 42 on the Billboard Hot 100, and at number 6 on the Billboard Hot Rock and Alternative Songs chart. Jake Gosling helped both write and produce Sheeran's next single, Drunk. The lyrics are about a speaker who tries to fill a lonely void by drinking copious amounts of alcohol to very little avail. Drunk was certified platinum in the UK and gold in the US. The single peaked at number 9 on the UK singles chart. Small Bump, the next single released off of Plus, was written to lament a stillbirth five months into the pregnancy of Sheeran's close friend. There was a bit of controversy when in 2018, six years after the single was released, the Irish abortion referendum used the song as part of their anti-abortion campaign without Sheeran's permission, which angered a lot of abortion rights activists. In fact, Sheeran took to Instagram to let audiences know that this was never what Sheeran intended with this song. Small Bump was certified platinum in its native UK and peaked at number 25 on the UK singles chart. The next studio album from Ed Sheeran was stylized as X and is pronounced as Multiply. This album is quite aptly named since Sheeran had written hundreds of songs that had to be cut down to 15 for this album. Multiply reached the top of the Billboard 200 Albums chart and UK Albums and was certified quintuple platinum by the RIAA and 12 times platinum in its native UK. Lyrically, songs on the album continue on themes touched on in Plus, such as romance and heartbreak, but also begin to delve into some more sexual ones. For Sing, Multiply's lead single, Sheeran made a departure in his sound, which was favorably compared to the musical styles of Justin Timberlake and Robin Thicke. Sheeran uses a falsetto voice in this song, which is about foreplay and other precursor activity to a night of sexual intercourse. Sing reached the top of the UK singles chart and peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified double platinum by the RIAA and triple platinum by the British Phonographic Industry, or BPI. Sheeran's next single, Don't, is about a short-lived sexual relationship Sheeran had with another singer who he eventually found out to be cheating, but Sheeran declined to specify who. As Sheeran puts it, the first verse is the setup, 
The second explains the situation and the third is the outcome with the chorus in between each. The song is written in the key of F minor with a tempo of 92 beats per minute. Don't peaked at number 8 on the UK singles chart and at number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100. Thinking out loud, the next single released off of Multiply is the song that almost wasn't. It was written when Amy Wage came over for a visit that wasn't intended to be a songwriting session, but after messing around on the guitar, it became one. The song is about a long-term relationship and the couple's desire to stay in it until the day they die through any and all ups and downs. This romantic ballad is heavily influenced by blue-eyed soul music. Thinking Out Loud was composed in the key of D major with a tempo of 79 beats per minute. Sharon's singing in this song ranges from B2 to A4. Thinking Out Loud reached the top of the UK singles chart and peaked at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100. The final single released off of Multiply was Photograph. Sharon wrote the song with Snow Patrol member Johnny McDade who had a piano loop from which the composition developed. The ballad derives its music primarily from an acoustic guitar, piano, and program drums. With visually descriptive lyrics, it discusses a long-distance relationship inspired by Sheeran's own experience of being away from his then-girlfriend while on tour. The melody builds up with the guitar strums and piano keys, the drums, organs, string, etc. then follow. It has a tempo of 108 beats per minute and the originally published key is in E major. Photograph features a chord progression that is common in popular music. Photograph peaked at number 15 on the UK singles chart and at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. To me personally, that is not acceptable for such a beautiful song that deserved to rank much higher. Either way, the single was certified quadruple platinum in both the US and UK. Next up is Divide. Sheeran's third studio album, Divide, won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album at the 60th Grammy Awards. Sheeran worked on this album while on a self-imposed hiatus, which he claims to have taken on the account that he was, quote-unquote, seeing the world through a screen and not my eyes. Divide topped both the UK Albums Chart and the Billboard 200 Albums Chart. The album was certified quintuple platinum by the RIAA and 13 times platinum by the BPI. Divide had two lead singles, Castle on the Hill and Shape of You, but I'm going to talk about the former first. Influenced by the song Fallen Empires by Snow Patrol, Sheeran wrote this song about his adolescence in his hometown of Framlingham. Castle on the Hill peaked at number two on the UK singles chart and at number six on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified quadruple platinum by the RIAA and quintuple platinum by the BPI. Divide's other lead single, Shape of You, is one of the more notable of Sheeran's singles. Shape of You wasn't originally intended to be included on this album, but it randomly was on a whim. Shape of You is a pop and dance hall song with strummy acoustics, so to speak. In the song, Sheeran sings over a marimba-fueled percussive sway about a budding romance. Shape of You is written in the key of C sharp minor with a tempo of 96 beats per minute. Sheeran's vocals span from G sharp 3 to G sharp 5. The song has a Trisillo rhythm. Shape of You reached the top of both the Billboard Hot 100 and UK singles chart. The single was certified diamond by the RIAA and nine times platinum by the BPI. For Sheeran's next single, Galway Girl, 
Sheeran drew influence from Irish folk music and recruited the help of Irish folk band Bioga. In fact, Sheeran announced the song as the third single off of Divide on St. Patrick's Day 2017. Galway Girl is written in the key of F sharp minor and cut time with a tempo of 100 beats per minute. Sheeran's vocals span from E3 to F4. Galway Girl peaked at number two on the UK singles chart and reached the top of the Irish singles chart and peaked at number 53 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified double platinum in the US and quadruple platinum in the UK. The next Sheeran single, Perfect, was the UK Christmas number one song for 2017, or the top single that was released in the UK within a week of Christmas Day. Sheeran wrote the romantic ballad about his fiance Sherry Seaborn in the key of A flat major with a tempo of 63.5 beats per minute. The song has also been released in two different versions, one being a duet with Beyonce and the other being a symphony version with Andrea Bocelli. The original version of Perfect reached the top of both the UK singles chart and Billboard Hot 100. It was certified diamond in the US and septuple platinum in the UK. Happier was the fifth and final single released off of Divide. According to Sheeran, the theme of the song is about looking back at an early relationship and, despite being initially angry and bitter at the breakup, later coming to realize that his first love was happier with someone else, hence the title. Happier was composed in common time and in the key of C major with a tempo of 90 beats per minute. Happier peaked at number 6 on the UK Singles Chart and number 59 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified double platinum in both the US and UK. After Divide came the number 6 Collaborations Project. Hence its name, Sheeran's fourth studio album, Number Six Collaborations, was meant to be a sequel to his 2011 EP, Number Five Collaborations. A myriad of guest stars were featured on Number Six Collaborations, including Khaled, Camila Cabello, Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, PNB Rock, Stormzy, Yeba, Justin Bieber, Travis Scott, Eminem, 50 Cent, Young Thug, J Huss, LMI, Paulo Londra, Dave, H.E.R., Meek Mill, A Boogie with the Hoodie, Skrillex, Chris Stapleton, and Bruno Mars. The album was nominated for the 2019 People's Choice Awards Album of the Year and 2020 Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album, but did not win either. Number six collaborations reached the top of the U UK albums and Billboard 200 albums charts and was certified plat triple platinum in the UK and platinum in the US. The album's lead single, I Don't Care, draws influence from dancehall music. I Don't Care is performed in the key of F sharp major with a tempo of 100 beats per minute in common time. It follows a chord progression of F sharp, D sharp minor, B, C sharp, and vocals span two octaves from C sharp 3 to C sharp 5. The song has been noted for its similarity to English singer Cheryl's 2014 single, also entitled I Don't Care. In this song, Sheeran and Justin Bieber sing about how the speaker's lover helps him cope with situations like being stuck at a party he'd rather not be at. The single was certified double platinum in the US and quadruple platinum in the UK. Sheeran's guest on his next single, Beautiful People, was American rapper Khalid. Beautiful People is composed in the key of E flat major with the moderate R&B groove and a tempo of 96 beats per minute. Sheeran and Khalid's vocal range spans two octaves from B flat 3 to B flat 5. 
In this song, the speaker is about to enter a high-class party, but ditches it since he doesn't have any of their fancy possessions and fears he won't fit in. Beautiful People reached the top of the UK singles chart and peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified platinum in the US and triple platinum in the UK. Dominican-American rapper Cardi B and Cuban-American singer Camila Cabello sang with Sheeran on his single South of the Border. This Latin pop sex song is composed in common time and in the key of D minor. The song has a tempo of 98 beats per minute and the singer's vocals range from the low note F3 to the high note of G5. South of the Border peaked at number 4 on the UK singles chart and at number 49 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified gold in the US and double platinum in the UK. Take Me Back to London, the final single released off of Number Six Collaborations Project, featured British rapper Stormzy. Take Me Back to London draws influence from the grime genre, a genre that originated in the UK out of influence from UK garage, dancehall, and hip hop. In this song, Sheeran brags about the commercial and financial success of his Divide Tour. Take Me Back to London reached the top of the UK singles chart and was certified double platinum in the UK. Now for Sheeran's sixth studio album and most recent one to date, Equals. Sheeran's most recent studio album to date is stylized as an equal sign and pronounced Equals. Sheeran intended Equals to be a coming-of-age album influenced by recent major life events such as losing loved ones, his recent marriage, and the birth of his daughter. Equals topped the Billboard 200 Albums Chart and UK Albums Chart. It was certified triple platinum by the RIAA but did not receive any certifications from the BPI. Equals his lead single, Bad Habits, marked Sheeran's first solo release from an album in four years. Bad Habits is a dance and synth pop track similar to The Weeknd. Bad Habits won the 2021 MTV Europe Music Award for Best Song and the 2021 LOS 40 Awards for Best International Song and Best International Video. Bad Habits reached the top of the UK singles chart and peaked at number 9 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified platinum in the US and quadruple platinum in the UK. It was while writing Equals' second single, Shivers, that Sheeran decided to name the album Just That when he was originally going to name it Minus. This song was so special to Sheeran that it took him three days, which Sheeran claims is longer than usual, to write. He wrote the song at the end of his Divide tour at a rented farm in Suffolk that he was using as a studio. Shivers is a romantic love song very special to Sheeran, quite likely written about his wife and daughter. Shivers reached the top of the UK singles chart and peaked at number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified triple platinum by the BPI, but did not receive any RIAA certifications. Equals' third single, Overpass Graffiti, is the speaker's promise that no matter what happens, his lover will always be a part of him. His love for her will not fade like the spray paint on the overpass. Overpass Graffiti is composed in common time, in fast tempo, and in the key of C major. The song peaked at number 4 on the UK Singles Chart and at number 41 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified platinum by the RIAA. Equals' fourth single, The Joker and the Queen, also has a duet version, which Sheeran sang with Taylor Swift. 
The music video for this song is a sequel to that of Everything Has Changed, which Sheeran and Swift also collaborated on. In this folk waltz song, a card game is used as an analogy for a romantic relationship. The Joker and the Queen peaked at number two on the UK singles chart and at number 21 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified silver by the BPI. Equals' fifth and final single was Two Step. Sheeran claims to have written this song while he was at his point of lowest confidence. This makes sense given how vulnerable Sheeran gets in this song about the pressure and stress he's under and how it's getting him down. Two Step peaked at number 9 on the UK singles chart and at number 48 on the Billboard Hot 100. The single was certified platinum by the BPI. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first artist analysis on an artist from outside my home country of the U.S. In this series, I break down what makes a given artist, who and what they are, and I do this with male and female artists from across many genres. If you have a particular artist you'd like me to do in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. You can also request any topic for a video essay on anything from music to movies to TV to politics, current events, social issues, history, nature, art, and many other things. But first, you're going to have to subscribe to my channel to have your own card to my video essay library. If you're still not sure it's worth it, even after watching this video, learn more about my channel by clicking one of the links on your screen. You can learn who I am outside of YouTube by checking out my Instagram and TikTok platforms, which I've included links to in the description. I hope to see you coming back for more sometime.